Pinky, that you're not even dressed. For what? Chris's class is performing a rock and roll choir. They've been practicing for months. For months or four months? For months. Three months. Not long enough. Pass. I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. How was it? Terrible. We now return to a 1980s movie you remember fondly, but now feels excruciatingly slow. All right, stripes! Oh, this was hilarious. All right, Bill Murray's driving a cab. Still driving a cab. Shot of the town. Going over a bridge. Traffic's neither heavy nor light. Get in the army! I hope you don't plan on just lying on the couch and watching TV all weekend. That's exactly what I plan to do. It's a free premium channel preview weekend. Even Cinemax. One of the shows is actually two boobs fighting. Sadly, there's still no penetration. Well, just expect me to do a lot of sour-faced arms folded head shaking. <sighs> well, in return, you'll get a lot of beaten down husband eye rolls. <sighs> One of the neighbors called about a passive-aggressive domestic dispute. No, oh, was that Stripes? Ah, he's not in the army yet. Peter, this is ridiculous. You've been lying here all weekend. I'm not bringing you any more food. I don't need you to. I got a thousand dollar credit from Uber Eats because that driver pinched my bottom. Okay, well, if you don't get up, I won't have sex with you. And that will be different. How? And I'm still married to you because... Guys, second time this week. Peter, you gotta come outside. We found a used condom on the sidewalk. That's a bigger deal than regular garbage. Ribbed. A woman was pleased with it. You gotta see this, Peter. A used condom, just right out here. And there's panties nearby. Joe, you're a cop. What do you think happened here? I'll tell you what happened. Somebody did it. Yeah! Peter, come out here and high-five us over the sex someone else had. Someone had sex? I gotta touch another guy's hand to celebrate. Oh, now he gets to the army. Hmm, I've seen this before. It's from Ethan Allen, if I'm not mistaken. Am I gonna be okay? You'll be fine. Here's a video to help you understand. Hi, I'm Oliver Platt, and I'm currently fused to this chair. But how does it happen? When a fat guy's sweaty skin presses against couch fabric for an extended period of time, the fabric fibers fuse together with the skin. The longer you stay sedentary, the stronger the bond. My advice? Relax. It's not the end of the world. Being fused to furniture hasn't stopped me from being an adult with a child's name and having thicker hair than a werewolf. The procedure is called rip you off real fast. Very painful. Ready? Actually, I've decided to keep the couch on me. Really? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, this is nothing. I've been in uncomfortable situations before. Like whenever I meet famous people. Hey, what's up? I'm Snoop Dogg. Know what I'm saying? I do! But you don't, Peter. You don't. How is he? Is it good? Eh, it's a little tight. A little tighter in the couch? Yeah, it's a little tight in the couch. Hey, what's it like going through life holding needles in your lips? These are not easy. Summertime with a needle, they poke on my lip, and I say, Mamma mia! Well, you still got James Brolin coming in here, autographing your photos. That's kind of cool. You want to know something, Peter? He know come in here. I take the photo from the dry cleaners. Mamma mia, what a day. And now to say goodnight to all of my celebrity pictures on the wall. Buona notte, Christopher Plummer. Sleep with the angels, Sherman and Hemsley. See you in the sunshine, Ken Ober. And now, to say goodnight to my favorite celebrity, James Brolin. Mamma mia! Who's still my James Brolin? I take that photo from the bakery. Pasta Fazul, what a good day in the bakery. You take a good care of the place while I'm gone, William McCad. That goes a double for you, James Brolin. Mamma mia!